Today we are unboxing the new Rode Streamer X. I'm gonna tell you all about the features and specs and how to connect this thing to your computer. Let's get it started. What's up internet, it's Robert Teagarden here with today with another video for Teagarden tech reviews of sorts. Like I said, I just got this Rode Streamer X in the mail. I'm excited about this and I paired it with the Rode PodMic USB-C, which I haven't switched out yet because I wanted to get the Streamer X video as well done. So I can plug that into this instead of just having it randomly go in. So uh, the reason that this thing has intrigued me so much I have the Rode Podcaster Pro 2, uh, and I use it all of the time, obviously for podcasting setups. For those of you that don't know, this is kind of an all-in-one streaming video and audio connectivity device that is supposed to be competitive with the Cam Link, but also adds an additional audio service. Go figure, because it's Rode and Rode microphones. I'm not a traditional streamer, although I am a part-time college professor, uh, and I do a ton of this type of stuff, uh, teaching at a variety of universities here in Southern California. So uh, anything I can do to streamline my setup and make it more succinct is something that I'm interested in doing. Let's start unboxing our Streamer X Pro right now. This is our little device right here, Streaming X 4K Capture with a Revolution preamps. Now, for those of you that have seen, I've got a Mackie Big Knob, uh, and it's roughly the same size as that Mackie Big Knob. Uh, power adapter. Uh, this is very similar to what the Rodecaster power setup looks like. There should be, yep, here's power adapter there. And then underneath is a USB type C setup that's going to connect the Streamer X to my computer. Here are some features of the Streamer X that I find interesting. It has a 4K video capture and pass through with variable video refresh rate support. It has studio grade revolution preamps like we mentioned and supports TRRS inputs for connectivity headsets. It also has dual USB type C interfaces for audio connectivity for two independent different computers. It also has integrated series five road connectivity for wireless receivers, which is really an incredible thing. You can see as you push down on this microphone knob, how it switches different things and different connectivity points for you to be pushing audio through. So this kind of like pink magenta e purple thing is if I had a regular USB Type-C microphone set up. This one is if I'm going to the TRRS connectivity for headsets. And then you'll see this last one is for Wi-Fi connectivity. So if you have a Wi-Fi Rode Wireless Go, a Series 5 Wireless Go that can connect to this thing via Wi-Fi, you can have an additional person, you know, anywhere in the vicinity that's connecting to this device via Wi-Fi and have that signal being passed through to the device. I think that that technology is actually really cool and innovative. And I know that they're adding that with a firm upgrade to the Rode Video Podcaster Pro or the Podcaster Pro, no video, sorry, Podcaster 2. Uh, and I, I like to see that this type of integration is hitting different devices within the Rode Streamer line. And then also this is just gonna be a fun little gimmick. There are four little touch pads that are here for different audio triggers. Now setting up this thing is actually fairly easy. Uh, once I had my HDMI and the USB Type-C connected to my computer, I was able to then go through and just test this thing via a Zoom recording. You gotta go into the video settings, switch your camera from Cam Link over to the Streamer X, which automatically should populate via the USB Type-C connection point. And then you'll see that it's kind of wonky in the way that it comes in. You have to switch it to the HD mode, and then you can put your settings if you want it to be kind of mirrored or flipped or any of those sorts of things, but surprisingly easy for the setup uh, and something that I was very pleased to see in terms of how easy it was in terms of functionality. This is what it looks like just as a test uh, streaming through this thing, but you can get an idea of how that camera set up. There's also some software to help configure the Rode Streamer X. It's called Rode Central. You can open this thing here and basically start to kind of configure all the different streaming or quick setups that's going on. And it'll tell you exactly which inputs and outputs are working and what they're doing. You can do basic device configuration and kind of make your uh, buttons brighter and dimmer uh, to your configuration. You can start to customize the smart pads 
as well and load in the different sounds that you want them to trigger and the banks in which they're coming from, which is also very helpful. So that's my unboxing video of the Rode Streamer X where I set it up here and gave you kind of a bunch of different details in terms of what this thing is and how it functions. A little bit of a sample in terms of what the video looks like just straight out of the box. I'm going to do another video comparing the Streamer X to my Camlink 4K to see what those two things look like and what quality is better because I know that there are people that are very curious about this thing. And in addition to that, I'm going to hook up the Rode PodMic Pro uh, via USB Type-C, the brand new black one. Uh, and uh, I think that you guys will enjoy that thing as well. So if this is something that you're into, if you like the video, like the damn videos, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for posting notifications so you can see what's going on in Tea Garden land. With that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is another video in the can. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you tune in for that comparison and the mic video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.